This is a video review of the Transformers Legacy Evolution G2 Dead End. And before I continue with this video, I would like to say that as I'm recording this right now, it just became New Year's, where I'm at. In Arcadia, California. So, Happy New Year. Now, continue on with the video. This, this is my first sort of review of the most recent uh, Walmart exclusive line of Transformers. So, let's take a look at the box. It's got a nice version of the Legacy Evolution poster, which is cool. You get to see... I got the Legacy Armada Prime here, still in the style of the prototype that was... Shown a couple years back. And a nice picture of Dead End on the back. Let's take a look at the... You can see a picture of the back, but we're going to take a look at the figure itself right now anyways. And here he is. Just a repaint of the Dead End that combines with Legacy Menasaur. Like the uh, shiny shades of blue, silver, the yellow, really... Really, really eye popping. These colors, you got the nice uh, shiny guns. Um, the same sort of shade of blue. It's for the articulation. Uh, shoulders uh, fully articulated. It's at the elbow, the thigh, uh, ends at the elbow, 90 degrees. Uh, same thing with the knee. Uh, legs can go up and back and do the splits. Uh, a bit of ankle pivot. Uh, this one's feeling a bit loose. Uh, this one, not so much. This one's better. Yeah, so that's it for the articulation. Pretty much par with generations. Uh, you get the... Hips can rotate, of course, so can the head. Doesn't seem to be able to look down. It's a really nice dead end uh, figure. I like the design of the chest I just, and the face. I just wish he had uh, actual feet instead of the back of the bumpers here. Uh, even the back looks more like feet, to be honest. Get him transformed. It's a pretty unique uh, transformation as far as uh, car uh, transformers go. I can actually get this. I think you're supposed to unplug the whole back thing and then get these up. Uh, first, you gotta turn these around. I get these wheels down too, and then. And we can continue. And uh, I think it's supposed to get this head down as well. And then you get the whole uh, section up. It's pretty unique. It's a pretty unique transformation. And then you get the hood and everything down. Leg section here it can be a bit uh, tight, but pretty easy to do from uh, robot mode. And then uh, you can see where this is going the feet go into uh, the shins, collapse all this. Boom, got a nice uh, car mode. And you can see, definitely see more of the bet. Now he's mostly red, whereas um, he was largely blue in robot mode. I uh, got some nice 
um, design uh, tempo graft onto the front sides. Like love the G2 Decepticon symbol here. And you can easily put the guns in these uh, pegles here. I don't need to do that right now. Uh, right now, I'll combine this with uh, Metasaurus. This is a retool of uh, G2 Deadhead. All right, so here is um, Menasaur. Uh, hold on. I'm going to try and get him into better view. All right, that's good for now. As you can see, I still got the upgrade kit on him because why not? <laughs> All right, get this. Um, to make this easier, I'll just take this arm off. Um, take the this dead end off. Um, could actually split this up if you put a, a screwdriver through this. Press this with a screwdriver. But there's an easier. Well, if you have Minnesota, you can actually just do it. Split it apart with it on the arm. First, you get the these two. You form this platform here again. Stick this two on it. Then you break it up. Part. Not literally, of course, just separating it. And boom. There you go. This is the closest we've gotten to a legacy G2 Menasaur right now. So now to get him transformed back into robot mode, uh, I recommend keep, keeping these separated. We, because uh, these uh, leg panels are a pain in the ass to uh, undo. We have to tug really hard on this. I just get these. Um, my fingernail in there. I just had my fingernails uh, cut today, just in case anyone uh, didn't like me having long fingernails on my channel. Actually, I do keep them a moderate length so I can like fiddle with the Uh, transformation seems like the one that's on this. But usually when they curl downward, that's when I've got to cut them. So, let's see. So. And you can just snap this back up. And here it is, back in robot mode. So, yeah, so it's really cool looking figure. Really nice, uh, fun spin on the dead end figure. And I haven't actually reviewed the regular dead end yet. I think I will. Soon, and I'll reveal. Uh, may reveal why soon. And, uh, what's it called? Because yeah, I did, because I didn't really completely review Metasaur either. Just the uh, upgrade kit of the combined form. And just the combined form. I, but then I think it's nice. Uh, transformation's fine. And car mode looks... Great articulations up to par with generations. All in all, a solid figure. He and Shadow Strip really give Menasaur a nice new look. Please.
like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's it for my review. Bye.